Steve Cangelosi is one of the worst commentators I have ever had to listen to in my entire 20 years of living. Daniel James across the spot, more and oh, what a save, lunging up Jan Sommer. Ebolo trying to fight off a defender and another shot off target, it was there again for Harris Severovic. Played across, Depay won't find the ball, follow up, Vardaldum! Benaldi across, Locatelli! Forsberg plays this across and shake out! Oh! On the ball here, finds Forsberg, gives it a go, takes a deflection, and it's in! Top of the box, and a strike, go! As most of my audience is based in Europe, let me just explain the situation. American broadcaster ESPN has the rights to Euro 2020, has a lineup of great commentators, really great commentators. And then they also decided to select one hockey commentator, and an absolute doofus alongside him. See, the issue with Steve Cangelosi is simple. He is screaming throughout the entire match. Malinowski, this ball hit it, go! Your ears will bleed the second a ball is shot on target. Depay, still Depay, moving forward and a stop me! Not even a goal, on target. But when the goals do happen, he screams at the very top of his lungs causing you to completely go deaf. And it doesn't matter if it's the fifth minute of the match, top of the box, and a strike, go! Or the 90th minute of the match, headed by Mbolo, in front, and the finish is there! Every goal gets that same Steve ear rape treatment. And it, there's the equalizer! So with that being said, ruins the game commentary-wise, and also kind of removes those special moments in the game due to the commentary being so bad. <laughs> And the weird thing is, he's not even consistent. Are you f***ing kidding me, Steve? Are you f***ing kidding me, Steve? Steve. Steve. When you think of a commentator and you think about the game, usually the commentator works with the game. There's a harmony between them and the game itself. I, I, he doesn't so. fit. He, he doesn't fit. ESPN, you could have picked Probably the janitor next door, and he would have done a better job than this. Spinazzola has a step. His service over the bar. So close to giving Ukraine the lead back. And one. So close to giving two. Ukraine the lead Commits back. To him. He just yeah. the ball off yeah. Yeah. Path yeah. uh, That's not really the case with Steve. And you wonder why, ESPN, maybe having a hockey commentator wasn't the best decision. I wish I could give you more examples, but I'm only limited to the highlights that ESPN has provided on YouTube. Oh, and also as he is mainly a commentator for hockey, there's obviously a different commentary style between hockey and football. And as a result of that, he will describe every single f***ing thing that is happening on the pitch. You think you will have a single tiny little millisecond of silence. Not with the Steve broadcast, you will. And what about his partner in crime, Ali Moreno, who we haven't even talked about yet? You can look at his coaching career and you can say, man, oh man, I'm not sure if this guy's for real. Shut the f up, Ali Moreno. Please just shut up. Every time Ali Moreno speaks, you only will expect cringe. That's it. Once again, I'll cut you right back off. I'm about to score. I'm about to be a hero. <sighs> Jan Sommer comes up. Allie. Allie, what? What? Honestly, I'd rather have Steve scream in my ear than have Allie moan in my f***ing ear. There's like a fuel of anger every time. Ali Moreno analyzes a highlight. He'll actually say something normal for once, analyze a highlight pretty nicely, and then all of a sudden, he just adds this weird style to his commentary that absolutely no one asked for. Push on, not even a courtesy dive, he's just looking at his hey, mommy, please go out, and he does, off the- <laughs> Ali, what? Ali, this is by for the worst one. Hey, mommy, please go, shut up! Please, shut the f*** up! It's ear torture listening to these two men. I would unironically rather listen to an entire hour of Cardi B than a single minute of both Steve and Ali commentating over any match. If the commentator commentates the final game, I'm gonna cry. <laughs>
<laughs> but it's certainly different, isn't it? I don't really know what to say to it's what I've just witnessed. It's like, I'm just... I'm just sitting here thinking... It's confused. Confused as to why it's so good. Right? Exactly. Exactly. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. And finally... Is it coming home? Yeah. I think I've made my case for one of the worst commentary duos I have ever heard in my entire life. This duo is unironically worse than hearing Alexi Lalas and some American commentator try to be a Spanish commentator. Yeah, it's that bad. I think the worst part about all of this is that Steve Cangelosi and Ali Doofus Moreno had the same amount of group matches as Ian Dark and his partner. What the f ESPN? Curls this out. Hit it! Go! Well, a lunging attempt by Bush John! But the finish is there and Dumfries! But let me make this clear this is just a rant video. This is solely for the purpose of entertainment. So don't go harassing them. Speaking of entertainment, though, I myself tried the Steve Cangelosi style. Martial. Still Martial. Shot! Goal! Martial! Welcome! <laughs> well, hopefully you guys enjoyed that little video. Just something kind of more lighthearted. You get to hear me rant about something completely useless, but I don't know. It'd be kind of funny to make a video, so I did it. If you know any other terrible commentators, please leave them down in the comments below. I'd love to hear some more because I'm just a masochist at this point. I mean, I literally went through all of the highlights that had these commentators just to make this video for you guys. You're f***ing welcome. I am genuinely praying to the football gods that this commentary duo does not do the quarterfinals nor the semifinals. Anyways, uh, be sure to follow my Twitter for any video updates. I'm actually thinking of doing a little transfer show, a uh, weekly transfer show. Love to hear you guys' thoughts about that. Also, follow me on TikTok. I'm trying to get to 5k there. Follow my Instagram, follow my inactive Twitch, and until then, I'll see you guys.